All right, welcome to the meeting uh, for affiliate and for the interns. So this meeting now includes the interns, especially those in the second batch. We started like uh, more than three weeks ago. This is the last week in within the for the one month internship. So I believe that we've learned a lot of a lot of stuff throughout this period because I decided to go the route of giving you task. And I believe uh, doing task and assignment has a way of exposing you to stuff and uh, creating some kind of consistency online. So um, if any all of you that are intense, if you leverage this opportunity to uh, to create those content on social media, you would see that you start to um, increase what we call your impressions. What are your, what are impressions? Impressions are number of persons that see your posts. People might see your posts, but they might not engage. People will see your posts, but they might not engage. So these are what we call um, uh, what we call KPIs. Uh, how many of you know where you can locate your impressions from your LinkedIn handle? I believe that we all posted on our LinkedIn handle, Gift, Amarachi, the rest of you, apart from Uju that just uh, that joined the batch that was that next week. Do we know where we can track how our content online is doing, especially on LinkedIn? Do you know where we can find that? Okay, Amarachi, you know how we know that. Okay, what about the rest of you? Okay, I'm waiting for your response. Okay, Mira, you have a question. You raise your hand, or you are agreeing that you know where to find it. Use the chat box so that it's, it's I would know what you're saying. Okay, you don't know where to find it. Okay. All right. Okay, 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 fine. So let's start with our questions. I will show you where to find it. Or let me let me do a rundown of uh, Twitter and Insta and LinkedIn. Okay, for those that just joined, welcome. We're just starting. This session is going to have, um, uh, if you're just joining, welcome, we're just starting. So it's going to be a question and answer session, and I'm going to explain some stuff for you, to you in details in the next 30 minutes. So let's maximize 30 minutes very well. I hope you came with your question. This is one opportunity. Next opportunity might be at the end of the next batch. That will be um, middle of September. So um, I'm going to, um, do a rundown of LinkedIn and Twitter to us. So that you know the importance of these two places. Leaving your digital imprint, digital print online. Are we following? Can we hear me? Are we following? Yes, ma'am, I can hear you. Okay, please use the chat box so that, uh, okay, okay. All right. Okay, so I'll share my screen now so that I can. Uh, I'll be sharing my, my screen now. Sorry, let me. Uh, I'm sorry, I need to stop sharing. So I'll share the whole tab. So can you see my screen now?
Yes, ma'am. Are you there for my screen now? Okay, okay. So um, I'm going to do a rundown of LinkedIn on how to leverage it. There are tons of uh, opportunities on, on the internet. You know, um, uh, several years ago when I decided to be go completely remote and when I decided to go completely remote and because I know that if you have it dawned on me uh, in 20, that, that was 2016, after I left school, it dawned on me that if you have a smartphone and internet access and you have data, there's no limit to anything that you want to do because the internet has created a very limitless, um, created limitless opportunities for us. But then between then and now, between then and now, lots of knowledge, you know, not lots of content, lots of so many things have gone out there, and so many platforms have come out too. But the question is, how do you leverage these platforms to actually get the opportunities you're looking for, especially high-paying opportunities, high-paying jobs? And um, the things you're doing now, the things you're doing now might not actually be your uh, what's how do, I, how do I put it now? Might not actually be your what you will do for the long term, but it might be your one of your passive income streams or one of your active in, income streams or one of your side hustles. So I'm going to use this uh, opportunity to just explain, run down LinkedIn, run down Twitter, and then you can ask for questions and we'll be done for tonight. Unless we have any, any affiliate here so that I can put the affiliate through. So now this is uh, this is my LinkedIn handle. This is my LinkedIn handle. I created it quite a long time ago. I think almost either same year after I left school or the year after. So first thing first, I'm going to open my profile. So I'm waiting for it. Okay. Okay. So if you can see my see my uh, screen, please indicate. So I'm sure I'm sure that you can um, see it, ma. Not... All right. Okay. Okay. Now I'll start with the banner. Um. One of the things that can, that will make opportunities come to you now in the past few in the past one month i've had tons of dm like this is my let me open my message area this is my message area i've had tons of people chat me up uh in the past one month chat me up either they're offering me um a job opportunity I offer me a job opportunity. If I can do one thing or the other. But why are they doing this? The reason why they're doing it is because I am visible. You know, you can't be passive about online opportunities and expect it to come to you. Now, there are ways to go about this, there are ways to achieve these things, right? And one of them is optimizing your handle. Optimize your handle to be visible. Optimize your handle to make these systems work for you. Now, search engine is built on codes. Search engine is built on codes and it's called the algorithm. Meaning that if you want results from search engine, you have to train those codes to work in your favor. And you can't train these codes by being passive about it. So you have to have a system. Now, I'm someone who have learned, I, I, I've learned passively and actively from other persons who are delivering value online. So, and one of the ways to um, access tons of opportunities is for you to be proactive with these things. For example, let me take myself for example, you know me or you discovered me online. And you realize that I have content that you that is in line with what you want. What you should now do is to now keep tabs on my account, follow and learn. And whatever I, I write and say, okay, this is how to go about this, this is how to do this. 
then you should go ahead and apply those things. Now, some of, a few times, those things might not work exactly as I said it or as some other person said it, but at least you'll find out what worked for you and what didn't work for you. Now, everybody is sharing, everybody online that is delivering value is sharing from what has worked for them. Because you, you can't monetize what you've not experienced. You can't monetize what you don't know how to do. You can't monetize what has not given you value yet, what has not given you results. You can't monetize it. So anybody that's monetizing anything online is because they're monetizing that thing that they're so sure of because they've tried it, it has worked for them, and that is why they are monetizing it. So for your LinkedIn and, and Twitter now, make sure that your banner is updated with a um high high definition picture like sharp picture the picture should carry what you are about i'm going to show you quite a number of um of them let me show you this guy this is one of the people now look at this guy now this guy is oche right this is one of the persons you can follow for content marketing he's strictly content marketing anything content marketing you can get it from this guy now you see see his own banner Oche Rights content marketing trainer simple his platform the Oche Rights initiative he has never done a nine-to-five job he has been running this Oche Rights for as long as i can remember if you check uh oh god okay why is it loading if you check his um experience there's no other experience here for four years and 11 months since 2017 till now he has been right he has, has been running the oche rights initiative he only went to the university of Harcourt and he has been teaching people how to earn from content marketing now look at his look at his banner now another person i want to show you is this uh, chinedu junior chinedu junior is another person that okay i didn't see your phone okay see him here Look at his own banner now. He's saying, do you want to reach your target audience and increase sales with low budget? My services are, these are the things he does. Lead generation, blogging, ghostwriting, and yada, 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 yada. So this is important. This is very, very important. Now, there's one person that I've been following back to back. Like, this man delivers loads of value. Him and his wife are like, I'm like, God, they deliver loads of value. And that would be Justin Welsh. Now, I found Dustin Welsh through another person, young man, that also delivers lots of value at its, at its shirt. An Indian guy, but the guy is very good with content. So, this is what you should note. If you want to make get results in a particular area, do your research and find people in that area who are already doing well and model them. Nobody said you should be a copycat, right? but you can model them they say this is how to go about this to get this this a plus b gives you xyz result you do a plus b and try to see if it's give if it will give you x y result or whatever results you get you note it you track it now this is justin welsh see him this is these are the only two products that he has used to hit seven figures in in dollars we're talking about over a million dollars these two products and just the way he doesn't run an ad. He doesn't run an ad. What he does is to build his impressions online. Uh, at the beginning of this session, I explain what impressions are. Impressions are number of persons who saw your post online. And I asked whether you guys know um, how to find your own impressions. So I'm going to show you from my own handle. It's very important. I personally now I have a target for myself for this month how many impressions i want to do and i have a template that i'm using to that i'm using to achieve it and i'm going to achieve it and exceed it by the end of the month and by the end of the year so what he does is he provides value online increases impressions number of businesses is post out of a one million impressions that he makes in a month maybe fifty thousand persons out of that one million impressions would pay for his product what does he do? He just consistently show people how to create, um, how to make money what they know. 
like he does his own in his own way and he has only two products the content operating system and the linkedin operating system just two products and this is his own handle like i literally i literally live here now he has been running this for the past three years and one month and he has moved from less than ten thousand followers to over 260 000 followers on linkedin that is consistency now uh see his wife his wife is jennifer welsh his wife is jennifer welsh she's into she's into finance she helps people you know invest wisely this is a wife this is the wife's handle too she teaches people about money and investment look at her own handle empowering successful women to take control of their finances she was among 22 top linkedin voices and she demystifies the stock market for new investors so that leads me to next thing i want to say put a very good profile picture like it doesn't cost you it won't cost you anything at this point in your life you start thinking about it's not about how much you can save because you should save some money but you also think about what how much you should invest see the money you spend on, on creating um opportunities for yourself as an investment for example now i started using premium linkedin not because it was very convenient premium linkedin uh okay how much is it exactly i started using it because it's going to increase i'm going to show you the value of using a premium linkedin now, i'm not saying you should start using premium linkedin now the free linkedin serves very well but of course the paid versions of stuff also have that have the advantages i'm saying that a time will come if you want to get more results you will need to make a little bit more sacrifices with the money you invest in those see them as an investment because they will create even much more opportunities for you now it's uh to take a picture a studio picture should be like a thousand naira in enugu i don't know how much it is in other places so you need a, you need a good studio picture that is smart it's not about it's not a beauty picture don't gas up um, and be posing plenty plenty in your picture if you notice those guys i showed you um even the lady jennifer welsh i showed you it should be a professional picture it should exude professionalism and then your your headline your headline should be what you do where you are doing it and your um what you offer like we saw on Justin Welsh's hand, uh, handle, or she writes, Chinedu, Jennifer Welsh, they are, you look at their headline immediately, you know what they're doing, you know what they're offering, you know what to expect from them from the get go. And um, the, all these things are on your mobile because I'm, I'm using a desktop, so it's be more clear, but they're on your mobile. Then here, this uh, editing is headline part. Sorry, I'm trying to. Let's talk to not even do this to me this evening. Okay, it's loading. Now, your name, your last name, come in. So your name, last name, this way if you're filling your headline, your current position, which will appear there, which industry are you in, you should update it. Now, LinkedIn make sure that things are explained, are well explained for you linkedin make sure that things are well explained for you your education your country all this yada, yada, yada. then they've added a website if you have a website like a personal website or a portfolio website you can add it here and put a text tell people what to expect when they click the link so now because i updated this is my current workplace it appeared here now, in the past uh, couple of weeks, my followers has increased because of what I've, I decided to be um, very consistent with my uh, posting, sharing content online. Now, how do you, I posted something today on Twitter. How do you know what to post daily? How do you never run out of content to post daily? The way to do that is to track your, if you're growing, if you're investing in yourself, then you can share your growth your progress online twitter and linkedin you know 
for the past uh, one year, I've really reduced my presence on Facebook because I said that uh, Facebook is said I'm sharing church related stuff. Maybe I'm repost, sharing somebody's posts or I'm just posting. So personally, I've, I, I left the place because it wasn't um, it wasn't productive for me. There's nobody see LinkedIn now. Any down to the richest people, they have a LinkedIn account. But people see Facebook as like a gossip place and all of that. So I don't do, I, I stopped doing anything that has to do with my, um, and it has to do with what, whatever I'm doing there. It, it was intentional on my part. So I tried to face, because if you want to also be very, get your results, you have to pick one or two places on social media where you have to be consistent with uh, releasing your content or with sh showing your visibility. And right now, Twitter and LinkedIn are a good place, and that both of them are a very good place to to start. So, in a way, in a way, not to run out of content, track your progress on social media. For example, you're learning about content writing. You're learning about content writing. You watch a video, write a summary. As you're watching that video, you're learning something. Make notes. When you're done watching the video, that note you made can be content that will run throughout the week for you on social media. It was simply sharing. And when you share, when you're quoting someone that you learned from online, you can tag them. Find out if they're anywhere, Twitter, LinkedIn, you tag them and you know talk about what you learned. That was my that, that was my post today on Twitter. If you go to my Twitter post, I'm going to show, I'm going to show you when I start explaining about Twitter. Okay, I'm not even fast. Um but I hope we are following what I'm. Uh, hope you are following what I'm saying. I hope we are following what I'm saying. Are we following, or am I alone? Okay, okay, okay. You guys are following. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, um, then under open to work, this add profile section now. You can add extra things to your profile section. Like, um, if you got added an extra education, position, career break, you know, the recommended part. This is the recommended part. Turn on your featured area. The featured area is like your creator mode. You turn it on. Uh, add your licenses and certification, add courses you're taking, and add your recommendations. Very important. It's very important to add this recommendation. People actually check you out. Like, people actually check you out, whether you are there or not. The more you show up online, the more people start, start, start checking you out. Like, one of the, one of the um, jobs I got in April, I just did it for like a month. I created content, 10 pieces of content, for this metaverse platform and they paid me a hundred dollar per content i mean per one thousand words i didn't look for that job they found me in my dm right and that this was because of what living like you're dead you are obvious people are always searching now um people come to linkedin and they just simply type content writer they simply type content writer and it shows up right see now look at this thing now jobs showed up companies showed up then people showed up why these people show up? these people showed up because content writer is in their bio so if your bio is not saying content writer you won't show up in search then people will talk about content writer so i'm going to talk about the hashtag when i'm when i'm addressing the, the rest the many parts of linkedin this hashtag here you must put it, so this book are showing because they added hashtag content writer to their what they talk about then post i seen i i came up i came up in search as content writer because of what the content i made two days ago because of what i wrote about content writer now this is where keywords keywords in your content came uh, comes in so if you want to be found as a content writer write about your journey as a content writer make sure you include content writer in your content like the keyword should appear this is where keyword comes in so this is i've been making posts in the past few days but this particular post came up because 
I made a post and I added content writer in the content. And it should appear one of the rules of SEO, search engine optimization, is that this is called like this is what we call your meta, um, what do you call it again? Meta description. Meta description is the first few lines that appear on search engine when you're looking for, like if you go to Google now, let me show you something. Let me just simply show you something. How meta description works. Content writer. Now, this is a meta description. This this particular website now, entrepreneur.com, this first two lines here is meta description. So this search now came up because in the meta description, the keywords content writer showed up there. So that is why can you see it pulled up every so your keyword matter in your content. So this I seen. How one came up because you added content writer here, same here, content writer content, it showed up. Now, groups, groups that has to do with content writer. So the reason why your account is going to show up when somebody is looking for content writing, recruiters are always looking for people. They are always going to come online and type content writer, writer or they type content writing or any job role at all they're looking for. So they'll type it in search and then look at who comes up and then they come to your DM and then they send you this thing. I had a call today. I had a, a brief interview call today and it was just, I was just on my own. And he sent me a DM. I didn't have to, they didn't have to fix, it wasn't really an interview call per se, but I had already had, he sent me questions to answer on LinkedIn DM. And it was back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then answer the questions. So what I'm trying to say is, these things can find you your DM. There is no other, you know, people keep coming to me to ask me, Ma, I can't get a job or this thing. I'm like, there's no other bad day solution to this thing. You have to be intentional about these things. And they work. They've been working for other people. They will most definitely work for you. You have an advantage, like I would, I would always say. Now, these are more jobs. And they are, they are said people also searched for these other roles. So this will tell you what, are, what are people are also searching for. So you know whether you should include include this in your content as you're writing them. And you can also turn up job alerts. You can under jobs on, on LinkedIn, you can also turn up job alerts. So whenever LinkedIn posts a job in relation to your job alert, it will turn up. You get notification on your phone immediately, and then you'll be among first persons to apply for the jobs. So oh, this is already turning into an in-depth class, but it's fine. Just about half time to explain Twitter. So, there are a couple of persons I've been I started following recently on uh, on LinkedIn. Uh, that should be uh, Chase Demon. Chase Demon is into email marketing. He writes amazing emails. This is Chase Demon. I started following him recently. Yeah. He teaches you how to write great, high, highly high converted emails. This is his handle. Chase Demond, I see his own uh, banner, email marketing nerd, Chase Demond, and all of that. Uh, I think there were, the other person too, I started following there. Um, I started following some, because I'm interested in Web3, I started following some specific persons in Web3. Someone like Josh Brown. Josh Brown, I started following him too. I had a, 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 a list of persons I started following on LinkedIn. Badass B2B Good Guide. I started following him too and other people so the first thing is find out in following people follow don't just follow random people don't have a bunch of eight out one thousand followers or one thousand people you are following that has nothing to do with the opportunity you're looking for now let me show you something just the way i posted something today knows exactly what i'm saying right now you posted something today so posted something today he's just his last in two hours ago Two hours ago, I've already liked, liked it already. You see, if you want to get notice on LinkedIn, leverage big name accounts. Now, if you're content writing now, you're looking for content writing positions, look for people in content writing that have, I'm talking about 10,000 followers and above, maybe, okay, 5,000 followers and above, 10,000, 
50,000 followers, 100,000 followers. You you have um, as a as a person on LinkedIn, you have you can only have you can only have 30,000 connections and I think 300,000 uh, followers. So when you get to 30,000, you, ca you can't send out connections again and people can't, um, but people can always follow you. People can always follow you, but you can't accept or send out connections again. So, um, so just what I give out idea, those big name accounts, follow them, leave a comment under their handle, create a content and tag those people inside. That is the way to get visible very fast on LinkedIn. So uh, going back, let me just do a quick rundown. Oh, this is time just flying so fast. Now, my target is to have 10,000 impression by the end of August. But this is like, and I, I just started on Sunday. This is my day four. I'm already on 4,334 impressions in the in between Sunday and now. Between Sunday and now. So why I even put that as an impression? Because I'm, I know I'm going to cross it. I'm going to beat it. I'll probably hit like around 50,000. The plan is to increase visibility for me and for my brand. So personal brand, personal branding will always bring you. This you're learning now is personal branding. We always bring the opportunity to you. Now, your creator, creator mode should be on. What is creator mode? Creator mode is what turns on this place. Your featured. Your features should can be anything. It can be a your featured now can be anything. You can add a post that had a very high engagement in your featured. You can add a newsletter that you wrote that, that was powerful and striking. And you know this is like your your LinkedIn, like your CV, your working CV. Now, this is your portfolio. Remember how I always emphasize that. If you're looking for job opportunity, the first thing to do is to create a portfolio in that area. Don't just say, I'm looking for a content writing job. And yet, if somebody asks you, what have you written before? You don't have anything to show for it. So this is why LinkedIn integrated this thing for everyone. So you must turn it on. So someone comes to your profile, they can see even an article. You can add an article that you wrote in the past that you think that can sell you was well written. You add it here. So anybody that comes to your profile can just easily go there and see, oh, wow, you wrote this thing before, you wrote this thing before. You can add a link to any of your posts here, add your media. Now, this is your, of course, your activity, your activity. Then this is your bio. Your bio should be, it shouldn't be as long as this, but it should talk about what you can do and what you offer, the value you offer, what you can do, and what will people benefit if they bring you on board. That should be what your, your bio is about. And your experience, after, I've said over and over again, for those of you, those of you here that are interns, these are like one of, this is one of the things you can add to your portfolio as an experience. You gained an experience as an, a writer in an, inter, an intern role. And I've been sharing some ambassadorship opportunities. I know most of us are looking for paid opportunities, but please do not hesitate to take on unpaid opportunities, at least so you can get two relevant two very relevant strong experiences you can use to be able to land that high paying job so you now update this place update this other place then your education your certification you can try to get some certification it's part of it can it can boost your your linkedin there's so many places you can get free certification we have a um, hubspot academy we have Google. Google have tons of free courses you can do. You can get free certifications from. Then your skills. Your, these are your skills. You have 50 skills to show. So there are tons of skills here you can select from. Select from tons of skills here you can select from. But make sure you select skills that are within, skills that are within what you're doing. If you're content writer now, these are like, these are skills that are re relevant, mostly relevant to content writing and the things that I do. So that's why I selected them. And then I took some LinkedIn tests. LinkedIn does some tests. So this is creator mode. LinkedIn does some tests. I took some, uh, uh, some LinkedIn skill assessment tests. I think I took about two of them. There's another one somewhere. Uh, this one, search engine optimization. I, I passed the test. 
and all of that. So this is to demonstrate your skill. Oh, this is new. It's still in better mode. This is new. Demonstrate soft skills. So consider a new career, pick a role, then show your transferable skills through written of video resources. Amazing. This particular part is now is new. Before it was just a skill assessment that was here. This is a skill assessment, it's a timed assessment. Each question is one minute, 15 seconds, or one minute, 30 seconds, and you, that you have to answer the question. So you can take some skill assessments, and if you, you have to, to end a badge, you must, you, you must score among the top 30%. Your score must be among top 30%. That's how you can end a badge. So those two ones I passed. I think what I had to, I did one like two, three times before I was able to fall into the top 30% for them to be able to give me a badge. So these ones are new. So make sure that you've exhausted everything on your LinkedIn. See, if you're looking for an opportunity, like I always emphasize, bring out one month and make sure that you're ready. Your preparedness increases the opportunity. Your preparedness will always increase the opportunity. But if you're always focused on which opportunity should I get without being prepared for it, you might not even find opportunity. So this is this is a quick uh, rundown. So under here, this open to work area too. So I said I'm open. To, uh, I'm open to work in this thing. So I have you have only five this thing to come in. So content writer or so my choices. I said remote. Of course, I don't want on site. I don't want hybrid. Hybrid means some days at work and some days remote. I don't want any of those places. So where do I want work? United Kingdom, United States, EMEA, APAC. EMEA means um, Europe, Middle East, and Africa. The APAC is for Asia. I think Asia, Pacific, and uh, what's it? I think Canada. So, so immediately, I said, I'm about to be applying. I'm not casually browsing. What kind of job role do I want? Okay, sorry. So, what kind of job uh, this thing? So, I want only recruiters to. So I did put open to work on my bio. I just wanted you know just recruiters. If I let open to work now, then that open to work thing will come up. But you, you can do it too. It's not a bad thing, but I don't want it. I don't want it. So so that's it. Then for providing services, I said I provide services in this area: writing, copywriting, group marketing, content marketing. You know, yada yada yada. You know. Uh, I didn't update this media area, but it's something you should do. This is your service page. So you can get reviews from people, get reviews from people for this area. Get reviews. So this is for LinkedIn. So please optimize your LinkedIn. It's going to be, and which is am I following? Which um, template I'm following for content posting is I'm following a template from Justin Welsh. He said what gave him the amount of um, the growth, the LinkedIn growth he has. He did it. He said if you do it consistently for six months, you're going to enjoy your result. And that is post two times a day for LinkedIn, post two times a day for Twitter. Now we're talking about. Uh, you can do one long form post for LinkedIn and one short form post for LinkedIn and do two two short. Of course, t Twitter is already very short. And then he does one thread a week for Twitter, one thread a week, two um, two postings on Twitter every day, two postings on LinkedIn every day, and then he does one newsletter. This was what helped him to grow his client base and he grew his following across uh, both Twitter and this thing. So, so this is so you can also, also also adopt that. Like I said, the easiest way to not run out of content to write is to always improve for yourself personally. Always learn something new. When you learn something new, share what you learned on LinkedIn and Twitter. That is the easiest way to find content because you might say, okay, how do I get content to post? I don't know what to post. Just share your progress. Share what you're learning every day on LinkedIn and Twitter, and then you're good to go. Which means. You should focus on learning things around the area that you want to get a job in. You saw what I showed you. If anybody tells content writing, it's only those who are writing about content writing that 
their content, their, their handles will show up on search. So anybody have a question for me for this LinkedIn fact? LinkedIn. Let's close this page. Close it. Like I was explaining, same thing here. The algorithm tool works for you here. Load, 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 load. The algorithm to work for you here in this instance. So you put your what you do, what you're currently doing, and what people should expect from you. Now, leverage, you know, I, I keep telling this thing as a believer, you have an advantage over your advantage. Other people, like other people, like people who are not believers and all of that, you know, have skill sets and all that gives them an advantage. But as a believer, you have, you have an advantage to listen on the inside. You can leverage your advantage as a believer across your skills. I'm telling you something that works for me all the time. That's why I keep emphasizing it. It works for me all the time. If I'm stuck at something, if I literally don't know what to do or anything, all I have to just listen on the inside or I just simply pray in tongues and... I just pay attention. And before you know it, somehow somebody just shows up on my timeline, shows up with exactly what I'm looking for, exactly what I need. So what I'm saying is you being proactive, paying attention, the things you're looking for actually bring for you, but maybe because you're not taking notes or you don't think it's time to take it's something or you expect it to be in a particular order. No, you have to pay attention to things around you and learn to use what is what you're seeing to shape what you're seeing to work in your favor. So uh, on that note, so if you create content consistently for LinkedIn, it means that you automatically have content for Twitter. So you're not even struggling to make content for Twitter at all. You just simply um, take a bit of, you know, one content, one, one LinkedIn post can make five days of posts for Twitter. So you can just automatically transfer to Twitter and shape them to either a thread or short, normal short post that people can just read. Because just like I showed you on LinkedIn, if I type content writer now, content writer now on Twitter, and this is what people do. I I, I got a, a DM from someone, you know, random person. Um, I, I had this leading in my heart to just check my inbox on Twitter. I hardly check my inbox on Twitter because Twitter is a place that, you know, if you there's so much noise on Twitter. So if you if you shape Twitter's algorithm to work for you, you to see about all the noise, right? See about all the noise. Now see, a type project writer, are you seeing? Uh, this lady now is looking for two hours ago. She posted in the video editor, a content writer who can also be in charge of my personal, my social media accounts. Please refer this post to a qualified individual. See, people are looking for people for people like you on social media platforms. You get so people will either work work with you as an individual or they work with you through a company like large firms employ directly from companies but individuals or companies still look out for the system that like recruiters recruiters still look out look for people as individuals and not companies so see this person introduces this person's self as i'm lauren i'm irish living in barcelona being in modern languages and yada yada, yada content writer so these are things that came up see so people come like this to look for content on twitter see my post came up because of what i said crypto job checklist for the new content writer in blockchain so when i type content writer see my post my i came up in two searches so as i'm saying these things work and this is how they search for you look at now internship alert 12 hours ago you are recruiting crew members for a Web3 journey. If you are a good with content writer or practically on Twitter all the time, DMs are open. So please, this is an internship you should leverage. Let me even check out their handle. Okay, there's a Web3 platform on Polygon. So you see, so basically, since if you're a content writer or whatever job role you're looking out for, improve on yourself whatever you're doing share your story share your journey share the tools you're using if you're using a particular kind of tool share it i think on this note, i'm going to use this opportunity to is, is jennifer still here yes ma 
Okay, yeah, I'm going to use the to explain Notion a bit. It might help you guys. Notion. There are tons of tools I've seen online. Okay, uh, I've, I've not even resent uh, those people have not gotten the gifts. That gift, that ebook gift that I shared after the conference is you really need to maximize this. For those of you that have not received it yet, I will try and send email again. My schedule up is super crazy, but I will try and resend to those emails, those who are sending their emails before the end of this week. Because the tools I shared in that ebook will really make your work easier. My life got easier. My plenty to things to do got easier when I started using different tools. Things that make my writing easier. For example, Quillbot. If you're someone who writes content a lot, instead of trying to write, like, you know, where I work, I'm expected to like write, you know, uh, what do they call it? Maybe create one particular content into five places. What do I do? I use I use a, a paraphrasing tool. It helps me to recreate the content into five, six places. So all I have to do is to go through them, touch it up and all of that. So I don't have to spend, if it took me two hours to create one content, I don't have to spend extra um, two times five, we give you 10 hours, extra 10 hours to create extra same content in, in uh, five places. So instead of spending around 10 hours trying to create five the same content in five places, I simply use a par and paraphrase it in 30 minutes. So it saves me time. I'm able to, uh, uh, you know, put in time into all that things. So tools will also help. That was why I tried to use that, um, compile some tools uh into that gift so for those of you that don't have it yet i'm going to forward it to your email address when i confirm that you didn't get it in the first place so that is it for twitter and linkedin usually work the same way so the more you use um you see nine new jobs added to lmc this week interesting to know they are Online reputation manager, digital marketing manager, marketing content manager, content right, uh, marketing content writer. Content writers will always be relevant till Jesus comes, because we we'll always need content in different forms. The question is, which kind of content is relevant now? That's the question you should always ask yourself. How do we? Is it now we're moving to Web three? It means that you have to find out what the content needs of Web three companies. That was why I said, if you want to know what these companies are looking out for go to those job websites pull up those uh job descriptions that they put up there for different companies look at them look at what you have look at what you don't have yet and find out how you can add those things to your to your writing for example if you've got a writer now i don't know anything about seo you have to go and learn what seo means if you're a content writer and you don't know how to use it for marketing yet, you have to go and learn digital marketing because it's going to help your content writing too. So these are the things to do. So um, I think now it's time for question. Okay, let me, let me show you Notion. Notion is one app I've been using. I'm using a free version for content uh, content curation. Notion So I've been using Notion for the past one month and it's been super duper helpful. So another way to even create content is when you see something that is you like, something impactful to you, all you have to do is copy the link of that content and keep it there. So this is this is um, this is Notion now. The first thing to do in Notion is to log in with your Gmail or company email address. So this is my own Notion now. This is the web view. There's a web, there's a mobile app for it. So this first from here, getting started, quick note, that's the journal list, personal home, reading list. These are ones that are like, you know, the ones that came with the website. So you can create your own pages. Like that, add a page. When you set up your notion, like you create your, you create your account. The, on the web, on the web, web uh, this thing, you can create a page, same thing with the mobile, you can create a page. So this page now, I can just easily call it anything. Maybe like, see how I did my own based on what i um it helps me to stay organized it helps it helps me to be able to uh gather all my content now let me show you for the next one month or two months i all the content i will create online i already have them and how did i do that i didn't say uh, put it together at the idea in one day no i had this notion and i started putting that together let me show you content calendar i, I love this content calendar this is for me so this is 
I've been creating this content, all the content you've seen on, on LinkedIn, see, from here to here, this was the way I stopped. This is today's zone. I've not colored it. So I'll color it to, sh I'll color it to now show that, uh, where's my coloring stuff? Uh, okay, but I'm not showing. All right, I'll do that for my mobile version. So this is, this are content. So when I still go online, I see, okay, I come back and add it here. So these are, these are content. For the next two months, I'm covered. And the more I stumble into something, I can, you know, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Instagram, and I see a content somebody created. I rephrase this paraphrase, I come back here and add it as an idea that will do. So I'm never out of what to post. I'm never out of what to post. So I use this thing. No, some companies also use Notion as their website because you can have several pages. You can have, like this now, I can put a, a, a header, a cover above here. I can put, add comments, you know, I can share. I can pin, you know, there are so many things you can do on Notion. See, you can create new pages, arrange your ideas. I call this one mind dump. Why I call it mind dump is where I come and do my creating. Like I write, when I'm done writing, I copy the damn page. I call it, that's why I call it mind dump. These are where I plan my, like, I just see that when I put things here. Because truth is, you can never remember everything. You can't remember every single thing you see online that is helpful to you. So how do you remember easily? You put them down. So you don't have to write them all the time. Let me show you my resources is where I drop all the links I find online. These are all the links I found online that are helpful. I'm on somebody's handle and I'm like, oh, wow, this thing is amazing. It's possible I might not even remember. By the time I come back, like someone like Justin Welsh now that Christ still content again. If I saw a post in the morning, by evening, he would have made another post. And maybe by the time I need what he posted, it might be like one week after. For me to track down what he posted, it might be a lot. So I'll just simply come here and copy the link and post here. So these are these are different links. So anytime I want to uh, learn something again or try to um, I feel like I'm out of ideas or what to do or how to do something. I come back to my resources and copy one of this link and open it and go through it again. See, look, look at this one now. Come on, interview questions and answers. I saw it on Twitter and I copied it here and put it here. So you easily on the go, I'm saving things. So these are easy ways to do your stuff. So I hope this thing was really helpful. This was not, it's not an exhaustive um, explanation about Notion. I'll see to another video for it, but. I hope it was helpful because I've really overshot my time. Yeah, Notion, you're correct. Taiwo, that's, that's the name. Um, Notion. Notion.so. Notion.so.